what should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck. There is a link in my bio to three different decks that I've designed. All of them are currently 50% off because in two weeks time they are going to be discontinued completely in physical form. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? What do I need to know about my person? Let's use Oracle and then we're going to move on to Tarot. So Spirit, for the viewer, what do they need to know about their person, please? What do they need to know about their person? This is one of the current decks that is 50% off. And like I say, last opportunity over the next couple of weeks to have this in physical form. It will be available in digital, but not physical. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got transformation, the kiss, temptation, good luck, and manifestation. First and foremostly, this is somebody that you have manifested into your life. The physical actualization and materialization of your desire, i.e. the walking, living, breathing version. It is also potentially telling me that this person themselves may be a master manifester. And there is so much good energy around the both of you here with this good luck card. This person is a blessing, a favor from an operating force, from God, the universe, your higher selves, whichever terminology you prefer to use. I also believe that the both of you and your energies combined heighten your manifestations. And as the both of you grow together, you thrive in all areas of your life. I absolutely love this transformation card and many of you may have heard me when this particular card comes up. Have any of you read the story, The Princess and the Frog? Where there is a little frog who is absolutely devoted to the princess and follows her around. The frog wants to sit with her at the dinner table and even sleep on her pillow beside her. Now, initially, the princess is not overly happy about this. And certainly when the frog asks her to kiss him, she is a little reluctant, but does so. And that is when the frog turns into the prince. So what can we use from that story? It could be that initially, you do not see all of the attributes of this person, but it becomes very evident the more that you get to know this person, that you have found someone who is true and who is rare. In fact, they may have been hidden in plain sight. And as you get to know them, you wonder why, why have they not been snapped up? Because they are so beautiful. And I believe that this person was very much kept for you. I had forgotten as I was telling that story that we do indeed have the kiss. This person is absolutely devoted to you. The true meaning of a kiss is that of a promise sealed. This person really loves you and I can feel the devotion through the cards. We then have the temptation card and I feel like this is the chemistry between the both of you. The both of you are going to be the apple of each other's eye, is what I get. The group that I am currently reading for is a group who know exactly how this person feels towards you. They do not hide it. They are completely smitten and this feels like something quite literally out of a fairy story. Let's move on to tarot. So I'm going to use those beautiful mushroom cards that I had started using last week. They are so fun to work with. They have such a lovely energy. So Spirit, may we have a look? For the viewer, what can you tell us about their person, please? We know that this person is very loyal, is very dedicated, very demonstrative of their love. There is no doubt of the love. What do we need to know, please? 
What do we need to know? Okay, we have got the Tower, the Ace of Swords, and the Star. Had I not said that this is someone who you had manifested, somebody that you had wished and desired to come into your reality? This is your wishes being granted. The mushroom that we are looking at here is called the Golden Raishi. And did you know that they are also named the Mushroom of Immortality? Do you know why? It is because they enhance your life force, your chi. And that is what this person does for you. They enhance your life. And this feels extremely mutual. And the both of you having this immortal and eternal connection. You may even resonate with the idea that the both of you are star seeds. The Raishi mushroom is also known as a spiritual protector, shielding you from negative energies. And I see your person doing the same for you, creating an energetic shield around you so that you can come to your highest potential in this lifetime and vice versa. Just as this person is your manifestation incarnate, that is what you are also to them. This is absolutely twin soul energy. With the Ace of Swords, this is someone who is incredibly honest. And I had previously said that the group that I am reading for will be in no doubt as to this person's feelings and intentions towards you. This person is clear and precise. This is someone who is an action taker. You are never going to have to prod or poke this person in order to shivy them along in this relationship. They know exactly what they want and they are working towards it. And they also share this information with you. The mushroom that we are looking at in this card is called the parasol mushroom. And once again... Its spiritual meaning is that of protection and shelter. This person is very important in your life. Offer this provision of safety in a very nurturing way. I feel that this is somebody who inspires you, which might be actually quite rare. As for the most part, you might be somebody whom everybody else looks up to. This is a role that this person loves to be to you. And then we have the Tower card. I love the Tower card. It speaks of massive shifts and changes. I personally often see the Tower card when there is a move. So this person may live at a distance from you. And although you may have been manifesting such a person, when they came into your life, this may have come in very suddenly and almost unexpectedly. The mushroom that we are seeing here is called the Yellow Netted Stinkhorn. That's quite a funny name, but it is a card that speaks of changes and of new experiences. Since this person has entered your life, you may have been gifted an array of new and exciting experiences. Or a card that speaks of attractiveness and resources. The name gives it away, the stinkhorn. It emits an odour that attracts all sorts of insects. And while the analogy of the insects might not sound particularly nice, if we think of that analogy of attracting and putting out this energy, this positive energy, then I think that ties in beautifully with these two cards here, the manifestation and the good luck. The energy that the both of you emit together draws opportunities to you. Of course, as always, this is a collective reading and it is up to you to listen to your intuition to see if this reading is for you. If you would like your own private reading to learn a little about the person for you, then there is a link in my bio to Same Day Readings. All of these beautiful cards are listed up here and you can find the link within my bio. 
A reminder again that all of my Oracle cards, all three of them, are currently 50% off and are going to be discontinued within...